making progress out here, man. He's been improving with Long Island. He's been improving in New York in general. And now he's facing off against Tilde, starting out on small battlefield. Tell me about this matchup, man. Yeah, we'll go back to Canada, my friend, by the way. Tilde was also at LZ, but... Yeah, this is going to be pretty hard. Tilde wants to kind of set the pace of this set immediately because Ness is one of those characters where if you get, if you just let them set up shop with their explosive advantage game, they will just take it so, so far home. And if Tilde finds himself off stage, he's going to be at the mercy of the Ness ledge trapping in question and even just these down air reversals or near reversals that we might see off the Firefox, not the Firefox, the uppies and the sidebees. Oh, I like the idea of the conversion of the magnet into a back air. Chris doing so well to hold down this Falco Oops. with this disjoints. Because the one thing we know that Falco really struggles with is those big disjoints. Uh -huh. Ness, they might not be the biggest, but man, they're quick. Very quick hitboxes catching this Falco. Give me uh -oh. a little too comfortable jumping uh -oh. early on in this game. Yeah, I like that jump back just to get the up air there. Telling Chris to please respect me as I'm recovering. I want to keep this ledge here, and he's definitely wanting to get the stock as well. Trying to get it on with the shield and the doubt tilt, though. Two frame in this nest. Still keep him at the mercy of this Falco list trapping, and he's just threatening the space with the back airs, for the nears, the forward airs. Trying to get something, and he almost got off the down air, but wasn't quite able to seal the deal there. Oh, I like that Nair had a shield there. Two peekers still not taking it from the ledge guard. I like the use of that jump off the wall, but still going to find that up air. Chris taking that first stock. Doing a really go. good job of cashing this aggressive Falco on the run, honestly. Yeah, and here's Ooh. something that I just thought Pika Chris might have been able to, or might struggle with, is just Tilde's aggression. But these are two players from New York who are the definition of aggressive, especially with the way Pika Chris plays Tilde playing Me. as well. They are constantly just running at each other. They've been keeping things very even for a lot of this time here. But Tilde, you gotta get the stock off, buddy. Trying to play so patiently there, but Pika still able to make it back using that movement so, so well. Thing with Pika Chris, while well, he uses the movement to reposition so well. Tilde still finding that forward air there. 38%. Not a lot of extra credit, but Pika Chris is gonna do dividends Oops. with it. Trying to find the PK Thunder, but not gonna connect that connection just yet. Yeah, Tilde though, trying to hold down this center, shut down these approaches from PK Chris, who's just trying to very aggressively just hold forward against him with the PK fires and the magnet. But all right, Tilde able to get a nice successful string on the board though. But here we go, trying to just threaten that space once again. But PK Chris, always on the challenge against this bird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Like, very good point. You know, caching this Falco jumping a lot. Like you said, those aerials are so good on Ness. And saying, hey, man, if you're going to constantly be in the air, I have the duels to catch you in the air. Ooh, I have the tools to get you down from there. We you prefer the air, and I prefer the anti-air, bro. Get down from there. Relax. Bro, he's definitely getting down right now. And PK Chris, this is something I love to see him do as well. Let's get that stall action going on. But uh, maybe, maybe not now. Maybe, maybe a little later. Maybe a little later yet. Very good call there from Tilde. Seeing this Ness, getting a little too comfortable. Because we're going to remember, Ness is still a very floaty character. So you got to calm down a little bit, right? Oh my god, he's already taking it oh, home Oh, but PK oh. Chris, not taking any of that. Not slowing down at all. 64% on Tilde. Looking to get right, oh my gosh, Tilde. Just trying oh. to get back into this game here too. Yeah, PK Chris still has to go through the ringer here because Falco's so good at two-framing this character, especially with that down tilt. But Oos, Chris with a swing and a miss as Tilde is still just holding down the ledge, threatening. But okay, the switch up to get the patience, I love it. Oh, not going to find that PK fire just yet. Going on with the PK thunder. Tilde trying to find the ledge trap here on PK Chris. You know, Falco's going to have the greatest ledge trap because he's trying to play around, find a down here, thing of the swords. Ooh. But able to get back on just fine. Trying to find a call out there with the F smash. Not going to find the one just yet either. Not going to find that punish there. PK Chris coming on for essentially for free. And, but finally finding a down air and an up smash, but that's not going to take it either. Yeah, PK Chris just not able to get the parry and very unfortunate. And this has become a very swingy match. As PK Chris is looking for his win condition to just set up Tilde at the ledge. But Tilde is sitting in prime condition to just get a down tilt. Try to set up for these backers to just eliminate this Nessus stock. And Chris is still just trying to find this one setup to just get the reversal on this king over here. Mm -hmm. Finding that forward air out of shield. Now trying to find an opening against this Falco here too. Tilde fighting out of the corner, finding that forward air. Trying to catch PK Chris's jump. Here we go, looking for a, a down air swing of the source. Down tilt still not going to connect. Again, I'm loving the, the fake out from PK Chris here. Jumping back, finding Oops. the forward air again. Swing that down tilt on the shield. Getting Tilde a little nervous here, jumping around here. Oh, willy nilly. And the left right mix coming in so strong from PK Chris. And PK Chris using this space so well to navigate away from these corner situations. 
Tilde is still, you gotta run it back. The down tilt as well. You gotta hold those PK flashes as well. And okay, down tilt landed, and we're back in the rinse cycle. Trying to get back to Lezzer. Tilde still looking for the down tilt. I can find that one just yet, but catching the Mik Mag get on yes. with the forward air. Seeing PK Chris getting a little too comfortable coming on those aggressive approaches. Goes to the Tilde taking that first hog. Man, a nail biter, game number one. Yeah. Every time that I was watching Tilde this weekend, he was literally down like three stocks. Or he was down like w two stocks, and he almost got a reverse 3 0 every single time. Tilde is somebody who knows how to play at Death's Edge, and especially if Chris just tries to challenge him. But in this first game, he got an upper hand a lot of time, just getting a lot of these two frames. Getting that down there was so helpful because it took a lot of the momentum out of PK Chris, who really just knows how to ride it. And this time around, he's still doing very good with this draft. Yeah, definitely. I love PK Chris's approaches here. I'm not showing any fear against these uh, the Falco, right? Because obviously he knows that while the Falco likes to jump around, too, he has the tools to match the energy. As long as he's able to throw those hitboxes first, be careful with that movement, because of course, Tilde has the, uh, the tools to catch him off the ledge, find that forward air time and time again, finally finding the nair there too. And this reflector, you uh -oh. gotta be careful coming off the ledge. Oh, Tilde is punishing you time and time again. Oops. Oh, Run I'm gonna make that back. Run it back, dog. Oh, Aww. a little too aggressive no. down there. <sighs> okay, okay. He almost got the most insane reversal. But I know you've been noticing that Tilde's been using a lot of nair, and that multi hit move is so good because it's able Ooh. to just sweep you. And it also, also, he's been using it to kind of push PK Chris just down to recover, where he's setting up to get a lot of these down airs. Yes, yeah, about time you get, oh, you get punished oh. out there for that. Oh, now finding up. that nair there again, too. Trying to find an opening. PK Thunder coming back on the stage. Looking for an opening here. PK Chris getting punished now. Tilde, they've been taking the back foot, realizing, that, okay, if PK Chris is going to keep holding forward, I'm going to take a step back. And like, my down B is going to be so good, not even for re reflecting projectiles, but using that space as my disjoint. Just getting mm -hmm. this nest out of my face. Get him yeah. out of my face. He's already swatting at this nest. He's still pressuring. Yeah. PK Chris able to snap to the ledge, bypassing that down frame, but you're still just going to be holding that Falco back here. The hit's oh so strong. Oh, but now we have the oh, uh -oh. catching that jump there with the PK fire up here coming out from Tilde there too. PK Chris trying to close it out there. Not getting a little too aggressive there out of the corner. We're not going to find that grab there either, but the Nair coming out from PK Chris again. Down three stocks. One needs to take the stock off of Tilde yesterday. Man, this game is looking pretty grim for this nest, especially with Tilde coming back on with that Nair. Yeah, and he wasn't able to get the down smash edge guard there, which was pretty crucial to get the stock off. But all right, dash attack is going to come in clutch for PK Chris, but he really has to take back this lead from Tilde, who is just being so dominant right now between all these neutral layers, finding the th range to just get inside, threatened with these shields. He's putting up such a wall for PK Chris to kind of get through. Mm-hmm. And now we have him coming back on. Oops. The downer comes out there too. Not gonna find that one just yet. Throwing up those four just out of the corner. Nair comes out, trying to find the opening against PK Chris off stage. PK Chris coming out with the magnet again. Getting away with it there, but Tilde, knowing exactly what's about to happen, up tilt and the forward air coming out. Hey Chris, gotta be careful here, not to, gotta mix up here off stage. And there's a mix up that you needed, but the downer in the pack air, he's still gonna close it out. Tilde, it's a very convincing two stock in that game, too. That classic BNB, &B, the down air back air. Mm -hmm. You love to see it if you're a Falco main. I already know the Philly Falco main is like, all right, we already, we already know this boss, we already know this boss. Mm -hmm. Move on, move on, move on. I know a lot, like every time that Beast struggling with this Falco, He's like, oh, I'm just, I just watched Tilde Buds. And like, I, we see it right there. He gets the job done. And you see, I, I noticed too how Tilde approaches ledge trapping is just so, he does it so well. And instead of just going for the conventional, like, oh, I'm going for like an up tilt here or my down tilts every time. Seeing that when Pika Chris mixes it up and coming on with the aggressive option is going to counter that down tilt. So taking that step back, saying, okay, I have the burst options and I have the jump range. Two punishes whenever you pick that option. Like you saw coming in there with the down air into a back air. Yeah. The, the great punish there, of course, until they get able to close it out with a two stock. And that's the thing, just being able to adapt so well. Like, you could on paper, have the right idea. Yes. Oh, Falco's going to constantly sit there and throwing out those, those hitboxes on the ledge. You're like, wait a minute, what if I just don't let him do that? Yeah, and the thing I loved about that game one is, right, we saw a lot of the neutral air absent and we saw the shine in question absent. So I would like to think that he used that game one as a data round. And then that game two, he's like, all right, now's the time to switch up. Now's the time to switch up on Chris. And Chris just wasn't really able to deal with it. Mm -hmm. He kind of had to adapt to that on the fly. And 
As Ness, you know, you're a character who kind of struggles from just being a floaty and not having the best disadvantage around. You do have the magnet to kind of move around. You do have the fire to kind of just operate on the platformers. But if you're Falco and you're controlling the pace of the game, it's GG's for you, my friend. Mm -hmm.